The aviation industry is set to add 470 billion dirhams to the UAE's economy by the year 2037, supporting up to 1.4 million jobs. Dubai International Airport remains the world's busiest airport for international passenger traffic and is home to an increasing number of airport lounges, the latest being the Plaza Premium Lounge. Song Hoisi is founder and CEO of Plaza Premium Group. He's with us here in the studio this evening. Song, great to have you with us. Thank you. Very You've just um, opened your new DXB lounge. And what does this say about, you know, the, the growth for your company in the next decade? Actually, that great that we started this business 21 years ago. We, we started one, first one in Hong Kong International Airport. Uh, over 21 years, we have grown to 100, over 170 outlets. And in 46 International Airport, we're serving 60 million passengers annually. And we have about over 5,000 colleagues working in the company. In the 2018, at the end of 2018, when we do a planning for the next three years, about 2019, 220, and 221, we allocate 100 million US dollars to expand our business. In fact, uh, until now, we already spent 60% of their 100 millions, and we are going very fast. We concentrate in the most densely populated country, such as America, India, China, and Indonesia. So how do, you, how do your airport lounges make money? Because often having access to them is linked to a, a credit card often where it gives you free access for customers. Okay. In fact, uh, like uh, you're talking about consolidators such as uh, uh, they are using us because we are providing this kind of service. Actually, they are our, our business partner. This is only a small proportion of our business. We have a lot of business like big corporations and also bank coming to use us and plus also a lot walk in and airline who don't have lounges and they will use our services as well. So are business travelers becoming more discerning when it comes to the lounges that they, they use? Yes. In fact, uh, you can see the differences when I first started my business 20 years ago. Airport actually is a, what we call a transportation infrastructures. You can see last 10 years, uh, passengers demanding, more demanding, more discerning, they know what they want. So we have to continue to develop a new idea, new concept to wow the, our passengers. So yes, it's true, they are more discerning. That's the reason we spend a lot, a lot of time to do a training. In our company, we spend 130,000 hours a year to do a training. It's very, very important. But obviously, you want to do well in the civil industry. The corporate culture is very important. The people, especially the top management, share the similar vision that we will have, make sure we do right the first time, right at all times. Do you think that in some ways, airport lounges have lost their exclusivity in a sense? You know, there used to be this oasis in within an airport terminal and now possibly they're, they're becoming overcrowded themselves. It seems we started 21 years ago and obviously a lot of airport imitate, copy our business as well. And the trouble is that because the, the traffic keep on growing and the, sub, the, the services do not increase and that's the reason there is a backlog and that, that's why a lot of lounges are very crowded. For us, we are not allowed to do that because even we have a lot of customers waiting outside. We rather let them wait than having a bad experience in the lounge. I think the training is very important and also you must control the quality of service. It's also very important too. Now I've been flying through GXP quite a lot recently. I've seen the lounge being built, so to speak. Now it's opened. Uh, just finally, just quickly, what's the highlight of the lounge for you at GXP? Oh, when we started, these are the six lounges in the in Middle East and we put in the best practice okay, to put in DXB because DXB is the fifth largest international airport. Obviously, we study the profile of the customer and also the requirement. And a lot of passengers flying through DXB is a family passenger. So we put in a lot of family facilities such as private family room, children facilities for the, in the DXB. And something very different. And more important is that our lounge, I think we are the only lounge, we cook a, we cook a freshly made food in the lounge. All right, we'll leave it there. But uh, Hong, uh, Song Hoi, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you, Craig. Thank you for having me.